I'm just going to take a moment to scan the fields to feel into the next layer to address. And I hear the word chameleon when we are, I'll call it the empathic chameleon, where we're in the presence of someone and we let go of how we hold ourselves naturally and we go into another person's energy and that can negatively impact us positively impact us sometimes when we're around somebody that's really inspiring but it's a distortion in the fields and so i'm just going to invite you to take a deep breath in to pull your energy and awareness into your divine line river of light front of spine And invite your higher self, body, divas, higher self, and teams to work with the energetic fields and the guides to energetically reference your capacity for being the chameleon as a protection mechanism, a survival mechanism, a coping mechanism, a society mechanism, like societal training, cocktail talk. Invite your higher self, body, divas, higher self, and teams to reference your chameleon stance. We all have one. It's like your chameleon grid of how you will morph and energetically look like another. And as some energetic aspect of you references your chameleon grid that does put you into empathic sensitivity, explore the idea that you held that chameleon grid for a time before you had other ways of surviving, thriving, being. And now that you have an incredibly harmonic vibration that you've been cultivating in your individual divine cosmic loop, valuing qualities that flow within you, even if it's just a simple quality of gentleness or sweetness or kindness, invite your higher self body to his higher self teams to work with the energetic fields and the guides to feel your vibrational grid of connecting with a positive quality that flows in your individual divine line, divine cosmic loop as your primary protection support mechanism. You are connected with your light, your essence. You don't need the chameleon to connect. You are safe and supported by the light that flows within you. You don't need to take on another person's energy for safety, support, or connection. You deeply value this vibration, vibrations that flow in your divine cosmic loop. You don't need to be valued or be validated by another by going into the chameleon energy. And so by just taking a deep breath in, pulling yourself into your line and feeling a vibrational quality that flows in your core, that you do value. Invite your higher self, body Davis, higher self and teams to release the chameleon grid. It served for a time, but no longer. You're actually too sensitive, too harmonic to hold that. It's good. Let it go. That's an old way of coping. It no longer serves. And just imagine spinning your field in a cleansing direction, releasing, dissolving, clearing out this old way of being. Inviting your higher self body to his higher self and teams to weave your vibrational grids in a way that supports you and sustains you. Taking a deep breath in, updating your reference points, all ways in which you perceive. I value my light. I don't need the chameleon. I'm supported and safe and connected in my line of light. I don't need the chameleon. And then as you hold these vibrations in your core and you deeply value them, the more you value them, the more solidly you will hold your fields. When we value vibrational light qualities that flow in our core profoundly, this is our everything. This is our number one. And we don't let it go for anything. And then we actually are less empathically reactive. We might get a quick sense of like, oof, they're feeling dot, dot, dot. But you've got this huge buffer between you and the energy of another because of this internal, 
I value this one stream of energy that flows in my line. <laughs>